How's it going, everybody? I'm back in Fallout 4 again at Taffington Boathouse. And so this time, uh, I actually built a stilt house. And so I wanted to build this um, from the start. I knew that I wanted to build uh, a place for my settlers to live or for them to go out on, on the water, because a large portion of this settlement is just a a body of water and so I tried to make use of that um, and I think that it actually turned out really well this is an actual thing like the house right next to it is on stilts so taking from that I kind of wanted to do a similar thing with the tools I have to build a stilt house out of uh, scrap and stuff so that my settlers could l have more housing or whatever. And so that I could kind of uh, actually build something in the settlement besides the wall that I built so far. And so on this, uh, I just went ahead and I had to build farther out and then build kind of in towards the uh, shack bridges that I had built because it was kind of hard to fill in that gap. And so now, I'm just kind of laying out a uh, foundation area for uh, my settlement and I'm trying to get a door onto this and I couldn't get it to work and so I actually do something different and also I want to mention it now because you guys will notice it later there will be differences between the the tour the finished build and the build that I'm building right now and the reason for that is is I'm not saving right now, as you can see, I don't stop to save very often, like in the middle of me building, and so, in the middle of me building this, uh, or well, it was, it was after I had finished building, because you'll notice, like, I finish building and then it stops, and then the build that I go to show you is different, just small things, really, it's the same idea, but just some of the walkways are different because I just wanted it to to look as close as possible but I didn't have anything to go off of because this build actually got uh, deleted because I was trying to do decorations and stuff and so uh, I have in the house a cat bowl and I tried to get a cat and with CVA in the specials tab there is actually a item there's all these um, items that you can use that allow you to alter time and so I have time frozen and I didn't think about that whenever I was trying to catch an animal for my settlement so I was trying to catch a cat and what ends up happening is I ended up sleeping which I know will save the game, but it made my game save, like the auto save, corrupt because it was trying to change the time. Because I I slept for 24 hours, so it would have ended up being the same time, but time would have had to have changed, and I had with mods time frozen, so it actually wouldn't let me. Um change the time obviously and honestly there's things about the finished build like that I show you guys at the end that look better than the build I'm doing right now because right now I do a couple things that I mean I think look fine but when I went back through I was trying to rebuild it as closely as possible and also I didn't think about the fact for some reason that it wouldn't be exactly the same because I still had the same like general idea but I think that the things that I did change were for the better because I think that my final build was great also what I'm doing right here how I laid out that path it was because I was hoping that I could have those there and I could have it where my s settlers would actually path the area and I probably could have left it there uh, especially since I used place anywhere right here it didn't make a difference. Um, 
And like people have asked, uh, I mentioned it a couple videos ago, um, I do use Place Anywhere. I just don't use it very often. And so here's an example of like a time that I do use it because I wanted it to look better uh, and look like it fits in. And so I knew that I wanted to use that bridge and I knew I wanted to use some of the other um, things that the game had to offer from mods and stuff. And so this is just me going ahead and blocking off this second area. And so the first house, that is the house for settler that lives out on the stilt house my idea for that other area though that I'm building ended up being a garden so it's kind of like a um, garden stuff and so now I'm just trying to make it where this looks a little bit more flat because I had an idea to place that same half wall and since it's a little ba bit raised I try to make it look a little bit more natural and I don't think that that looks very good compared to how it turns out in the end. So please don't judge it yet. But it just, it, it, it works um, in the long run. It, it works very well and it looks great. And there's things that I changed that I probably should have showed you guys, but... I don't know why I didn't record it, didn't think about the fact that it would look different. And then, uh, but yeah, I go ahead and I board off this other area. I fence off the walls and stuff because I knew that I wanted this, this to be open. And so right now I'm looking for the concrete tab, yeah. And then I place the, not institute railings, but the regular railings all the way around and it's because I wanted it to kind of look open. And for here, I for a moment, I wanted to kind of have a walkway out to something, but I changed my mind, and uh, I don't know why I wanted to do this. I wanted to have um, in the scaffolding tab with Unlock Settlement Objects, you can get these um, quarry catwalks, and I kind of wanted to have that go out because I wanted this to be where my water purifier was. And so I wanted a walkway to go out to it. But I thought there's a bridge right next to it. So why would I have an extra walkway like out there? So I end up placing that down. And uh, I thought about bordering that off or that one side. And I don't know why I decided to change that one. But... I go ahead and place this and so with this obviously you can't get it to place like floating and so I use the place anywhere mod to get this in the correct position and so I wanted it to be right on top of the bridge so that it just you can kind of walk up and use it the only part that I was kind of worried about was how close it was to the house and it ended up being in a really good position, and I was pleased with that. But next, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with the like garden area. And so I knew I wanted to use these greenhouse tables. Uh, these are found in Grey Garden, and they're in the uh, Decorations tab under Themes, and then you find Gardening, and then it's just gr uh, Greenhouse Table. And those carrot planters I'm not sure if I think that's part of USO but I just go ahead and pillar glitch these on top because these are smaller than the regular ones and they fit so much better so I use these I use these to fill up some of the empty tables in Grey Garden and I use those in this build because I want to have that green very well the greenhouse tables on that garden section like I said and so I just go ahead and show you guys how I do that and it's pretty ev easy to get even on there but yeah just use the pillar uh, the place anywhere tool doesn't work with these so you can't use those and uh, yes yeah, so I go ahead and place this 
And then I go ahead and move all of these on top of this. And so I was trying to figure out how I was going to, because you can't pick that up now. So I was trying to find a good spot for each one so I didn't have to go back later and redo the pillar glitch. Little did I know that this would mess up and I would redo all of these. And at first I thought, oh, I'll just have it covering all the sides, but it does not leave a whole lot of space. So I go against that and I move it over in this area so it's a little bit more open. And I think that that's good placing. But right here is a final tour. I just want to mention right now uh, that my intentions for that windmill, that bottom one, I kind of imagine like a uh, like a water meal, mill. I can't talk. Uh, and I don't know if that's like a thing that's in the game at all or something. Uh, I don't think that anybody has anything placed down like that. But as you can see, it is a little bit different. I use CVA to place some boards down. I put some stairs into the water. And I changed all the bridges because I wanted it to be flat all the way across. So I ended up using the supports and just the flat shack bridge tops. And then, like I said, this was a bedroom for whoever lives out here. And I just put some Mylar cake down and he's got a cat bowl for the cat that I intended on getting for this house. And I did end up putting sh shack floors underneath this bridge and then I got all this decorated and I used the fog condenser. I got that idea from no response because I thought that that was a genius idea as like a as a sprinkler system or whatever. But I really liked the way that this turned out. The windmills, I thought uh, that was a good idea whenever I built it. I mean, I think it still is an interesting idea, but I really liked the the full build whenever it's fully decorated and everything, I like the way that it turned out. And so, if you guys like this build, make sure you let me know. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this. Uh, give me some ideas of where you guys would like to go next. I've seen somebody mention uh, the castle, and then also egret tours. But just let me know what you guys would like me to go, uh, where you would like me to go to next, and I'll try to get those unlocked and uh, start those pretty soon but this may be my last build in this settlement because I'm not sure what else I can do uh, but we'll see I might build up on top of the house I may not because it's kinda hard to build up there but let me know what you guys would like and uh, thanks for the support thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video have a good one